Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back to another Let's Play episode of Chrono Trigger. This is part 22, and in the last episode, we fought Magus, we defeated Magus, and a portal appeared, well, some type of portal, that transported us all the way back to 65 million BC. It appears Magus has escaped, and we also found out that the Northwood has burned, allowing us access to Laruba Village, which its inhabitants usually hide and never fight, uh, and I guess they got what's coming to them because now their village was destroyed. We need to go to the Dactyle Nest uh, and meet Ayla, and apparently get some access to Dactyle so we can fly around 65 million BC, and also here we have the Hunting Range, which we're not going to go to just yet, but I will explain what's that, what that is for. Basically, it's exactly what it's sounds like you go in there you fight monsters they give you petals fangs flowers and the other one that i'm forgetting wait petals flings yeah petals fangs flowers and what's the other one i know well there's one more um and that stuff gives you access to uh trading capabilities that can give you weapons armor and all that good stuff but for now we're gonna go to the dactyle nest and see what's going on in here looks like we have a fight right off the bat we've already fought that golden ape but we have two other things which uh we have seen before not these specific ones but let's go ahead and fight them. We'll see how much damage Chrono's Lightning 2 does since we haven't really used it outside of a boss fight. So there we go. Lightning 2 strikes all enemies. What are these things called? Caves? It's kind of a weird name. How can an organic being be a cave, which is a natural rock formation? I don't know. Video game logic once again. Actually, wait. Oh, no. I'm probably wrong. So these things are called schists which is a weird name, and the ape was actually called a cave ape, so it's an upgraded version of the uh, golden ape or whatever it was called. Um, okay, so yeah, that was easy enough. I didn't really see how much damage Chrono's Lightning 2 did, but Marl has leveled up, and I see a chest up there, but we will move forward until we see something of interest. There's also some little, like, uh, I guess, uh, what? I don't know, like little rocks in the wall over there that we can use to climb up, prob probably. And also we have another fight here. We haven't fought these things yet. We'll see what they're what they are called. Avian Rex. Let's see how much of physical damage does against them. 164. I'm not really sure how good that is, because I don't know how much health they have. It's times like these that you really miss Luca, you know, and her awesome sight scope, which someone has mentioned. You can equip on other people. Yeah, sure you can, but I just like usually keeping it on Luca. I never really unequip it. Um, I just find I, I usually in video games I like to go totally offensive. I don't really equip defensive stuff. So, yeah, I like having the counter-attack thing on Chrono, the Hero's Medallion on uh, Frog, and whatever else I have on Marl, which I don't really care about because Marl's not really offensive that much. Um, Alright, so moving down, looks like we have more of these guys. Okay, my treasure senses are tingling. Let's go ahead and go to the north here. Actually, that was where the rock wall was, so let's go south because that's where the chest is. Hello, chest. What do you have for me? One mid-tonic. Stop giving me consumables. I would much rather have armor and or weapons. Let's head up here and go to the right, which looks like our only option. So far, this dungeon or whatever you want to call it is pretty linear. Let's go ahead and clear out these guys. I will show this fight because, I don't know, I want to. Uh, we'll use ice water and see how much that does. And we'll also use lightning too with chrono to uh, hit everybody pretty much and ha make them have a bad day. So there's ice water and there's lightning too. And if I were a betting man, I would say that these guys are all going to die. Because uh, this multi-targeted text, these multi-targeted texts are probably strong. Okay, so the ice water didn't do that much to the apes, but we'll see how much lightning does. Which, again, is the element of choice in this specific time period, at least for the dinosaurs. So here we go. Chrono absorbs all that energy, or whatever you want to call it, and exudes some lightning. Okay, so what we take away from this is that these apes are not really susceptible to magic, and we want to use physical attacks on them. I'm not sure if that's how it was for the ape previously, or the one, you know, that was a uh, downgrade from this one. But yeah, just normal physical attack does more than even attack, which is worth MP, so obviously. See, right there, I should have used Frog to attack the other one. I wasn't really, That's how I would normally play, but obviously this is a let's play, so I'm not using my brain quite as much. Okay, Frog is leveled up. Wonderful news. Anything below us? Probably not. Doesn't look that way. Let's climb up this thing. And looks like we have another sh couple of schists up there. In fact, this looks like the same exact layout as the place that was directly to our left. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and take out these guys. Okay, there's a chest obviously to our right. We'll go ahead and grab that. One meso mail. There we go. Let's go ahead and equip that on Chrono, which is probably going to be better than the dark mail. Indeed it is. Now we'll move down the line and equip that dark mail on Frog. Even though it doesn't increase the defense, it does increase our magic defense. And, uh, yeah, Marl can't equip any of that stuff because they are males and 
males are generally not fit for women. Uh, let's see, nothing down there. Let's go ahead and go up here. And by fit, I mean literally fit, like to size, you know, to size of a, like a male body or something. Not that I'm sexist and saying they're not fit for women. That's not what I was going for. Okay, we have another fight here with two more avian rexes. Okay, moving on, the only place that we can go is, is north. So, let's see, any fight over here that wants to start? No? Okay, moving on. I don't remember this place being very long, and it looks like we've reached the end. There's Ayla praising the sun, a la Dark Souls. Hello. Looks like we have a boss fight on our hands, am I right? Just kidding. Um, okay, let's see, nothing to the left. I remember there is a sparkle sparkle here, I think. Don't want to miss it looking out for it. I could have swore there was a sparkle sparkle here. You might have to come back or something. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing it now. Chrono! Don't even think about leaving us behind. No! A Tyranno Lair dangerous. Maybe all perish. We can't let you go alone. Ayla, you saved us. Now it's payback time. Right, Chrono? I don't know if you know tomorrow, but I cannot speak. Ayla have strong friends. Ayla, let's go! Next stop, the Tyranno Lair. Okay, and once again, we're at the party selection screen. We have a choice between Marl, Robo, Luca, or Frog. So, Marl has good healing capabilities. Also, also, she can haste the party. Frog has good offensive capabilities. And he'll round out the party with water. Whereas, Marl can do that too, though. Uh, Luca... At this point, I don't really I don't really use Luca anymore. Um, and Robo... I think I usually have Robo at this point. Um, yeah, why not switch it up? We'll use Robo. Yeah. There we go. Even though I would normally, if I was playing this normally, I would uh, use Frog, but I want to switch it up. I don't want this, you know, I, I want you guys to see the different party members and stuff. I don't want to be using the same people for a long time. So now we're back on the overworld, and we can move around and fly around with these Dactyles, which is very, very, very convenient. Um, we can explore, although I don't think there's too much that we can do. That was the uh, Reptite Lair, which doesn't really have anything of importance now. Um, I forget if there's really anything that we can do at the moment. You really have to have a good eye for, like, entrances. There's one. Oh, I remember what this is. It's not really going to have any importance, but it's going to be a Sun Keep. And you'll hear that, uh, mystical sound come back on, or that mystical track come back on. And there's, like, a sun beam here, but not much else. And now that I'm older and wiser, I can tell this is pretty much the exact same cave they used for the Masamune fight. Um, so yeah, nothing to do with that. Just want to explore, make sure that we're not missing anything. I don't, I'm, like I said, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that we can't do anything other than go right here. Uh, we can go to the hunting grounds, though. Um, should we go to the hunting grounds, or should we go to the Tyranno Lair? Let's go to the hunting grounds. Yeah, my, I, you guys know me. I want to show you guys pretty much everything. Um, we might not fully explore the hunting grounds, but we will definitely start. So let's go ahead and uh, save the game really quickly. Unnatural selection. And then we'll go into the hunting range. Um, yeah, like I'm not sure if we're really going to fully explore this or not, but I just want to show you guys the purpose of this. Uh, I forget if there are chests or not. I believe there are. You'll see there's a frog here. We should be able to fight him. And uh, he appears to be three frogs. Croaker, Amphibite, and Rain Frog. So they're, they look all exactly the same, but they're actually different. Let's use Lightning and see how much that does. And let's see if Robo has any new attacks. I don't know if he learns new stuff when he's outside of the party. Uh, looks like he doesn't. Yeah, so that's one of the unfortunate side effects of switching out your party members. Let's see how much... Okay, Lightning does quite a bit, and that's probably going to kill them off. Yeah. Okay, so experience points, two horns, two fangs, two feathers, dual tech spin kick, dual tech max cyclone. So that's a bunch of stuff to take in. So the good thing about this place is that even though you're fighting like normal mobs, they give you a lot more fangs and, and materials and stuff like that so you can trade. So the, po the point of this, and I mentioned this before, is just to basically uh, stockpile items so that you can trade. Uh, the chief and equip your party with all that sort of good stuff. So I'm trying to look if there are any uh, chests at all. I'm not seeing any. I don't remember. Uh-oh. You see how it's raining? Now, when it's raining, a certain monster appears, and we might be able to see him. 
Um, what did I want to do? I wanted to equip Robo with the newest, fanciest stuff. So Doomfinger, there we go. Iron Helm, you can have a Gold Helm, Titan Vest, Ruby Vest, and Defender, I'm not sure what that does. Vigor plus two, I don't even know what Vigor is for. Probably Health or something, or Defense, I don't really know. But, uh, let's switch that to a Power Glove. Like I said, I like to go all offensive. Okay, so it's raining in the hunting grounds, and when that happens, a certain type of monster appears. And I don't want to spoil what it is, but there it is. So let's go ahead and fight that thing. Um, he is very powerful, if I remember right, so we need to be careful. I, We did save, though. Okay, so there we go. This, I activated him, and this is starting a fight against a new. All right, so let's take a look at those new techs that we learned. So were any of them with Chrono? Drill tick, Max Cyclone. Chrono's Max Cyclone. Okay, so Chrono... Oh, oh God. Okay, looks like we can't use that anymore because Robo's dead. Wonderful. Um, okay, let's use Drill Kick. Yeah, I guess we're not able to. Uh, yeah, he's uh, one-hit killing our party here. Oh, act how did... Oh, I see. Okay, so we actually... Oh, that's just an attack that brings everybody down to one health. Um, that's not good. So, let's see. Let's use a mid-tonic on... Oh, do we only have one tonic? Well, there goes Robo. He's dead. Or not. Okay, so I don't know if the new is actually able to finish off our party. I think he is, because that wouldn't really make sense. Like, this would be an impossible fight to lose. Let's see how much a physical attack does, 167. Okay, so I want to use the Max Cyclone. Yeah, go ahead and do that to me. I don't really care. You're going to keep me at one health. That's fine. I can work with that. Let's use my Max Cyclone and see. Why is it not letting me do it? Oh. Huh. This is weird. It's not letting me do it, and I don't know why. We should have enough MP. Yeah, I really don't understand why it's not letting me do it, but let's use another Drill Kick then, because that did quite a bit of damage. So yeah, even when he hits Chrono when he's at one health, it still does only uh, zero damage because it can't bring you lower than one health, so I'm fine with that. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, let's see how much health this new has. I don't really remember how much. So the Doomfinger, wow, with a critical hit does quite a bit. So 248 experience points, 30 tech points, and then hopefully... You strong, here, take... Got three each of the following. Petals, fangs, horns, and feathers. So yeah, when you defeat the new, you get three each. You play strong take. Got a third eye. Third eye, I don't remember what that is. Um, damn, we don't have Marl in the party to heal. Actually, doesn't Robo have... Yeah, cure... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, can we use... No, we can't. Okay, I got excited for a second there. Yeah, Robo has cure beam. We'll use that really quickly. And then I think we'll hold off on the hunting grounds till later. I just wanted... That's what I really wanted to show you guys was the new fight. And we were able to do that. So let's see what the uh, third eye is. I believe that is an accessory. Let's see, third eye... No, it's not? Okay, let's go into items then. Third eye. It says it is an accessory. Two times evade. Um... Yeah, I guess that's pretty good, but I wouldn't really equip that on anyone other than, like, Marl. Alright, so I'll go ahead and head back to the Tyranno Lair. Alright, so here we are back at the Tyranno Lair. I'm going to go ahead and land, and I'm going to go ahead and save the uh, game. I did stop at the Ioka Village to fully heal my MP and HP. And now we're going to enter the Tyranno Lair and see what's going on here. Now, one thing you have to consider at this point in the game is that you do have access to triple techs, which mean... Which means when you have a certain combination of party members, they might learn a triple tech, which is obviously like the most powerful form of attack that uses all three members. Now, Robo, Ayla, and Chrono do have a triple tech, and I believe it's some sort of like twister thing. So we might learn that soon. I'm not really sure when we learn the triple techs, but yeah, I wanted to make sure that we were able to learn one, and we are. Um, Alright, so we have another Reptite here, but this time he's like purple or dark purple or dark red instead of um, green which they were before which I guess denotes that they're powerful more powerful this time around which doesn't really make sense considering we're in the, we're in the same exact time period but whatever far be it for me to con to uh, question video game logic okay so you'll also know you'll also notice I cannot talk this episode that Robo has uh, considerably more health than both Ayla and Chrono, which is good. Not only is Robo powerful, his, uh, physical attacks do quite a bit. I don't think they do. Yeah, it looks like they do even more than Ayla's, which is interesting considering he has more health anyway. So he's sort of like the tank of the group. Um, but there we go. Okay. Ayla has leveled up. Cool beans. Now, we have two doors here. One's open, and the other one, I think we can activate it from the front. No? Okay. I know you can at some point. Alright, so it looks like 
our path has been decided for us. Let's go ahead and go down here. Actually, we can't move to the left, can we? No, just wanted to make sure. Moving down, we have two more reptites. All right, so we learned two new techs there. Ayla learned Cat Attack, and Ayla and Robo learned Volt Bite. So we'll use those in the next episode, or in the next uh, fight. How's it going, guys? Looks like we just released a whole bunch of Laruba prisoners. Nothing to do in here, so I guess that's completely optional and it doesn't matter at all. Two more Reptites. Wonderful news. We'll be able to showcase our two new techs. So we'll wait for... Actually, we'll go ahead and attack with Chrono, and then let's see. Cat Attack. A Savage Cat Attack. We'll use that on this one. And then we'll hold off on Robo and wait to use the uh, Volt Bite, or whatever it was called. Okay, so just hang in there, Chrono. I don't really need your services at this point. Just get kicked in the face. And let's see. Max Cyclone. It's not letting me use it. I have no idea why. Um, okay, where was the... Uh... Oh, okay. Actually, is that a... Oh, it's actually a Chrono and a uh, Ayla Tech. Okay, let's go ahead and use that and see what that does. Oh, right, that makes sense. For some reason, I thought Robo had electricity for a second because he's a robot, but yeah, of course Chrono has electricity. My mind just completely blanked there. So yeah, I do like that ability quite a lot, and I see that one all the time. Well, yeah, duh, because you have to have Chrono and Ayla at this point in the game. Um, Alright, moving forward. Let's see. We have three more Reptites here and another Switch. Thanks for bringing, er, being the main course. It's the apes! Alright, so Chrono leveled up, and I also learned there that the lightning does affect Reptites as well. Looks like we have Kino behind a uh, trap door, or a prison door, whatever you want to call it. Ayla, Kino, get back! Ayla, save you! Ayla, there's like a switch right there. Do you not notice that switch? Ayla? Worrying me, Ayla. That method does not appear to be rational. That's what I was saying, Robo. Sorry, Ayla. All Kino's fault. No matter. Kino escaped with Laruba villagers. What Ayla do? Put end to this. Kino, go too. Kino, no come. If Ayla dead, Kino, new chief of Ioka. And also, you're a little wimp, and you're probably not powerful enough to roll with my party. Ayla! Ayla strong, no lose! Kino understand, and show you something! Okay, so it looks like he wants us to follow him. I don't think we can activate that switch. Uh, let's see, this is a chest, I believe. One mid ether, yep, even though it looks like a little inconspic inconspicuous rock. It is indeed a chest. Let's go back up here. Luckily, we're still faster than Kino. It's just nice to know that Chrono is faster than everybody in this whole game, including the runners from Lean Square. You strong, me weak, Ayla, good chief. Alright, yeah, go back to safety, buddy. Thank you for your help. Alright, let's go ahead and continue forward, shall we? Okay, so, we have two switches here. One there, and one there. Now, what you can do here is if we activate this switch... Yeah, it drops those guys. And if we activate this switch... It drops those guys. Now, you can fight them, which I probably would have done normally, but I wanted to show you guys that you can do that. Uh, let's go ahead and take out all these Reptites. Okay, I vaguely remember the right way being uh, the uh, optional way, so hopefully we are going the right way. Let's get rid of these tonics, uh, because we can use a bit of healing up. There we go. We're all out of normal tonics, which are becoming obsolete at this point. Yes, okay, good, I was right. Alright, so we have one full tonic, and... Oh, a trapdoor that I completely forgot about, and... I see we have uh, hurt ourselves by dropping these guys in with us. I totally 100% forgot about that. 
Okay, so this is gonna be a tough fight. Good fight to end the episode with. Let's use Lightning 2, and let's see. What is Spin Kick? Is that just... Spin... Okay, Spin Kick is Robo and Ayla. Um, let's see. We'll use... Yeah, let's go with Spin Kick and then get rid of that ape as fast as possible. Hopefully we don't die here. This is actually a really difficult fight from the looks of it. Okay, but not if we use that and do 700 damage. That's cool. Uh, let's use Lightning again. And then we'll use we'll take out the reptites first with physical attacks. Considering both the Megasaur and the reptites are now um, weak to physical attacks thanks to the lightning, so they're going to die in one hit. All right, so with Robo we'll attack the Megasaur, and with Chrono we'll attack the reptite, and then it's a matter of just getting that Megasaur out of there. Damn it! Should have switched it around because Chrono would have used that physical or that critical on the Megasaur. Either way. There we go. Alright, that wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Looks like we dropped into that uh, prison that I said, what was the point of it? Yeah, well now we know what the point of it was. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, the next episode will continue on in the Tyranno Lair. It's going to get pretty interesting in the next episode, I think, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.